this is sort of the first step. I mean, this is sort of some of us getting our foot in the door. It's like, all right, we're shipping a remote rendering experience, but clearly we would like this to work on Wi-Fi eventually. It's exciting to find out how many tweaks that we've got at the firmware level for making remote rendering work better across the existing Wi-Fi links. Uh, like another thing that I was kind of surprised to learn is that you essentially don't drop packets over Wi-Fi, which sounds, uh, you know, it sounds unlikely with all of that going on, but the access points just continuously retransmit, so instead you get a very long delay of potentially these 100, 200 uh, milliseconds. But you can tune a lot of things to, uh, to change this. So the idea that if we tune everything that's in our headset and we offer maybe a little plug-in dongle or some kind, you know, there, there are a lot of these little Wi-Fi things you just sit on your USB port. And if we do something like that with custom firmware changes, then we can make a super high quality Wi-Fi experience. So I'm pretty excited about that direction.